Hi guys, it's Caitlin here with EB Academic Camps and today I'm going to walk you through my eighth grade classroom, hopefully give you some ideas, suggestions that you can use for your own middle school classroom as well. So we'll start with my back bulletin board and this just includes basic things like our calendar. I like having a whiteboard calendar. It makes it easy to add information, switch things out and a poster that I created with just some inspirational quotes for the students. And then over here on this side is where I put any important flyers, important information that students need um, to see. So this bulletin board is also in the back of my classroom and this is where we put all of our homework and information like that. I also leave a lot of it blank so that students can use it for um, interactive things that we do. In math class, it's also really helpful for them to have whiteboard space. So I try not to put too much information on this back whiteboard. Then this over here is our homework hotspot, and it's a great way to collect homework, to collect essays, tests, anything that you need collected in alphabetical order. And I have a whole blog post all about how I collect and pass back homework. Over here, we have our class library. That is a little bulletin board that I created that has book recommendation forms for students. And you'll notice that the library is all color coded in alphabetical order, except for the upper left-hand corner, which I'll talk about in just a second. But this is a great visual for students to see exactly where their book goes back after they've checked it out of our library. Over here, these books are not a part of the rest of the library because these books require parental permission for students to read. And I have all of that information in my class library kit in our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Then I also got just a few little things from Target. These change out the fuzzy mood. Reading is dreaming with open eyes. Wish that I had better handwriting, but it is what it is. I think it looks cute. And then these letters I got from Target as well. They have a great ones on Amazon too that are actually cheaper and a little bit cuter. These are our book recommendation forms. This is an up close so you can see it's just a great way to kind of build a classroom of readers and I love that they recommend books to each other. Down here I just put a cute little quote together that goes with our class library. Just a great way to inspire students to to read. So it's all about reading back here. Up here along this little bulletin board I included a bunch of figurative language devices things that we reference often throughout the school year. So I included all of those up there and they'll stay up there throughout the year. And I have included a definition as well as an example from literature in each of them. Moving over here, these are our closets and also places where we display student work. I keep the big inspirational quotes up just because it creates a little bit less clutter in the classroom. It breaks up the student work when we display it on the walls. Moving over here, we have our teacher desks. So this is my desk right here, and my team teachers is the one over there. You'll notice that I have this cart that I got from Ikea. I just keep things like cleaning supplies, my professional development books and movies, and then items that I use all the time that I need easy access to. On my desk, I just have this great little calendar to use each week, great reminders to myself. And then I try to keep my desk pretty clean. I don't have a ton of stuff on it as well. And then here's a view of my classroom from this side of the room. So you can see we have great big open windows. That's awesome. Moving on from our desk areas, we'll go to the front of the classroom. This is our class compliments board. And our class compliments board has been a really great way to build kindness and classroom community in our classroom. So how it works is each week, there's a featured student that gets put up there and all of their classmates grab one of these little pieces of paper. It's actually cardstock cut out, and they're ready to compliment to the featured student. And once they finish their compliment, they put it in their little slot so I can see to make sure that every student in the class leaves a compliment for the featured student, and they can leave as many compliments as they want throughout the week. Then on Friday, the featured student takes all of their compliments home, and the kids absolutely love it. So I will include the link for this as well for you guys. This table up front needs a little bit of work still. It's a little bit cluttered. I'm looking to find a tablecloth to kind of put around it to hide that stuff underneath. We might be getting rid of this printer. And then this is how I collect um, and pass back homework. So the red folder is how I collect it. This is the homework to pass back. You'll notice that it's all numbered folders. As I grade something, it gets put into each student's numbered folder. And then on Fridays, they collect all of their work 
from their folder. It's a great simple system to use. Moving on to the rest of the classroom, this is our front whiteboard. And above our whiteboard, I included this great bulletin board that I created. It says, be honest, accountable, ambitious, humble, accepting, respectful, appreciative, fearless, you, confident, and determined. And I didn't really know what to do with that space up there because it's so small and strange. Uh, it's just a strange size. So I actually really like the way this turned out. I think it's great reminders for students to see. And our whiteboard generally stays pretty empty so that we can use it. Um, when we're teaching. This over here is our religion board. I teach at a Catholic school, so we're required to have a religious bulletin board. And then we also have what we have a prayer table. So this will be covered with the tablecloth and we'll put a bunch of um, prayer stuff up there like Bibles, prayer cards. So it's just a great little spot for the students um, when we pray each morning. Over on this side of the classroom, we have all of these bookshelves. We actually use them for these baskets for students to store extra books and things like that. So um, instead of lockers, this is what we use because we don't have lockers at my school. And then up here we have these great clothes pins that we hang up other student work along the windows. It's really pretty. It's a great way to display their work. And then another view of my classroom, you can see how I have the desks set up for the first couple of weeks of school. I like to have them in partnered rows. It helps me remember their names more easily. Um, it's just a way that I like to start the year off with the kids. Another thing that I always do is I always keep an empty desk up front for me to use, actually. <laughs> um, put my water bottle on it. I put extra papers that I need to pass out, things like that, on that front empty desk. So that is it. That is our classroom.